This is the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's got a stunning 5-inch HD display, LTE, a monster quad-core processor, and a terrific 13-megapixel camera. It's got a ton of other features besides, and all of those together make this one of the top smartphones you can get. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and uh, let's see what it's got. The all-plastic Galaxy S4 looks a lot like the Galaxy S3, but it has a larger screen and details that make it look just a little bit more high-end. It runs Android 4.2.2, which is already packed with features, and layers its own TouchWiz interface on top. Get ready for some highlights, starting with settings. You see those one-touch icons in the notification tray? Now you can toggle on and off even more of them. You can even edit their order and make them appear in the top five controls. If Android gets too overwhelming, you can also turn on the stripped down easy mode. Websites, games, and video all look really great on the 5-inch 1080p HD AMOLED display, thanks in part to the phone's 1.9 gigahertz quad-core Qualcomm processor. Its AMOLED screen delivers rich colors and deep blacks, but it's also extremely reflective and harder to read outside. The S4 comes with Gorilla Glass 3 cover glass, and an extra sensitive screen lets you operate the device with a cloth-covered hand. Do you want to control your phone with your eyes? You can, sort of. New features do let you scroll the screen up and down when you tilt it, and you can pause and resume video when you look away from the screen and look back. Something called AirView will preview items like an extra browser tab or a photo in the gallery when you hover your finger over the screen. The S4's 13-megapixel camera and 1080p HD camcorder are really great, and the 2-megapixel front-facing camera, it's not that bad either. Of all of these new settings, Dual Shot is definitely my favorite. It will insert photos or video using both the front and rear cameras into the same frame. There's also a mode called Drama that arranges an action sequence all in one shot, and an animated photo mode that moves a portion of the scene and freezes the rest. Sound and Shot is one mode that adds a 9 second voice caption to your photo, but it only plays back on a Galaxy S4 device. Now the problem with all these fancy tools is that you really have to plan out in advance when you're going to use them. So I just wound up taking most of my photo and video in regular old automatic mode. Image quality was really good in outdoor and well-lit situations, and I could even crop photos that I took from far away without losing very much detail at all. Video was also really crisp. Here's a neat feature. You can use the S4's IR Blaster to control almost any TV and DVR player. After a quick setup, you'll have access to several remote control interfaces. I actually did use it at home to surf live TV listings, launch Netflix shows, and program my DVR. By now, you should have a sense of just how deep the Galaxy S4 features go. But here's the thing. Even if you never explore them all, the S4 is still a really great phone. It isn't as eye-popping as the HTC One, but it does do all the important stuff well, and you can get it from almost any carrier. The Galaxy S4 starts at $200 on contract for the 16 gigabyte model and goes up from there. So there you have it, folks, the power-packed Samsung Galaxy S4. For even more details, read my full review at CNET.com.